this movie knowing the producers were daring enough to touch a very sensitive area that looks like we've been hiding from for years? Well, I wouldn't say we've been hiding. We just didn't take the bold step to do it. And what is fantastic about the movie is it's from the woman's point of view. Because we tend to take all the pain, we tend to give all the love. So it's, it's, it's a very intense movie, it's exciting. It's th some, a movie everyone needs to watch. Okay, now, I'm sure you've seen the trailer. How do you feel the filmmaker, do you think they could depict that era, 1976? Yes, we did actually. We were all on sets and I'm sure we did. It was tedious because sometimes you actually finish filming and then when the Ed director is going through his, his clips, he comes back to say we're doing that all over again because maybe they've seen a GP tank in the scene and that wasn't there in 76. And so you have to wait another two, three weeks to get that scene done. So yes, it was 76 totally. I heard the uh, shooting process was very hectic. Yes. How tasking was it for you personally and your character? For me, it was fun. Yeah, because it was me coming back to acting. It was me being serious in a, in a serious movie. So for me, it was, it was a, I don't think it was challenging. It was just fun for me. Now, for you, what you've attained and your, you know, your office, now when you have to go back to screen, is there a challenge for you to just go back to what you used to do? No, not at all. I'm an actor. I will always be an actor. Now, in your career so far, do you still recall any role you'd say is your most challenging so far? Hmm, not yet. Not yet, but soon. Any memorable role? Oh, yes. Playing the pastor's wife. It was, it was quite challenging for me then. But now, um, nah, there's one coming I'm, I'm supposed to be preparing for. That is quite challenging, so I can't wait. It's Izu Ojuku again. Yeah. He's also shooting Amina. Yes, I think he has finished. Yeah, I think he's finished there. Yes, I'm happy he's back. He just brings out the best in you. Now, you know, a lot of Nigerians will say 2016 has been a very challenging year. For you in the entertainment space, how would you say this year has been for you? Oh, very challenging, especially with my trials. Yeah, so for me, I'm just giving the glory to God for getting to this point and thanking God always. You know, a lot of us were praying for you. How was that face for you? It feels awesome. I, I was overwhelmed coming out and getting all the messages and the prayers and the love. I think I'm more loved now than I've ever been. And that for me is, is the grace of God. It's just thank you to everyone. Now that face where you were alone, what was going through your mind? You see, amazingly, I wasn't alone. I got busy. I got helping people there. I got helping kids that were born in there. And for me, I was just busy. Every day I was busy. I was doing something. I had to keep my mind working. Surprisingly, you see, people don't know how much people are going through. You're telling us now people give birth. Now, I think you should shed more light. Don't you think that's something should that also should go into the film business? Yes, we would get there. There are a lot of things that need to be put to be done properly, and I'm sure we will get there. Now, finally, do you think this has been a very, you know, remarkable year for you, knowing this happened, and it probably would be one you would never forget? Yes, totally remarkable because I have known now that I am loved. I really never knew. I really never. Maybe I took it for granted, but now I know, and um, I appreciate everyone. Any final words regarding the whole issue? Everyone should just love God. And just, you know, be as humble as possible because that grace always takes you everywhere. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless. Go in and have a great time.